we have an awesome, awesome uh, guest today. And uh, this gentleman is uh, one who would typically be called uh, a placement specialist, but they're a lot more than that. And so let's welcome Mr. Roger Sunner with Senior Care Authority. Hey, Greg, how Roger, are you? Good to have you on board. Now, you are the, um, you are all things. You are the owner, the CEO, and the president. And I'm sure there's other things that you do. Basically, I do everything <laughs> pretty much across the board. Yeah, well, welcome to Truth For Seniors. We're really glad to have you. And um, I want to take a few minutes to talk about what you do because I know personally um, the value of your service. Uh, it, it's hard to put a value on it because you know I, I know somebody who does this in a different area and said they can save they they think they save maybe uh, about a hundred hours on average for their clients. And so, you know, folks, when you're looking for uh, the next place. For your loved one, um, who's going to care for them, or what your options are, and understanding all that. There's so much involved, and, and as we know, most people don't call us until what? Crisis. Mode. Crisis, yeah. right? Yeah, thanks so, for having me, Craig, by the absolutely. way. Absolutely. I uh, appreciate it. So basically, what we do is we actually do all the groundwork for the the, uh, the senior as well as the, the family. So we do assessment on all the independent communities, the assisted community, the memory care. And we actually go out and tour all these communities prior. Mm -hmm. So currently in the four counties that I service, Fresno, Madera, Kings, and Tulare County, wow. there's 266 communities out there. <laughs> okay, So I've been actually, actually wow. toured all of them in the last uh, you know, several months. Uh -huh. And so what we do, we do, a, we do assessment on each of these communities, and we kind of give them a rating scale okay. uh, between one to five. So basically, I will not put my family anybody sure. less than a four-star, okay. we call it. So what we do is we go out tour all these communities, <clears throat> do assessment, and we look at the staffing versus mm -hmm. the uh, the care. Uh -huh. We look at the the community. Uh, we look at type A, type B violations. And so once we've done all the assessment, we actually have all the data on all the communities. Mm -hmm. So when we get a client or we get a senior that wanna wanna be pla looking for placement, we do all the groundwork for them. Wow, that's so, huge, right? Just I mean, not to interrupt you, but just that alone. I mean, can you imagine? Having all that information at your fingertips, right. you know, that's that's unheard of. Absolutely. Who's got time to go look at 200 places? Absolutely. So basically what we do is once we have the information, we done all the groundwork. And so when I say a placement, we are actually a full service. What I mean by full mm -hmm. service is we meet with the family, we do assessment, find out what their needs are. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, hey, are they looking for uh, care or are they looking for a, a large community that needs uh, like they want to go to activities or, involved sure. and stuff. Yeah. If you're looking for somebody, hey, needs a, a care, so you want a six bed community that is staffing is one to three there. Okay. So once we do the assessment, we meet with the family, and then we mm -hmm. schedule four to six different communities. We actually take them out, you know, jump in my car, and we go out tour these communities. Wow. Yep. Now that's that's something that that's a later question, but that. I think sets you apart from a lot of people, doesn't Ab it? Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> people don't generally have somebody with them when they're on tour. Yep. So, so when we get in our car, we have the information. So as we drive into the first community, we'll give them, I, get, I call it, give them a kind of scale. Are you looking for a Chevy or are you looking for a Ferrari? <laughs> and so it depends on where you are, and mm -hmm. then we find the right fit for them. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, so I imagine uh, the answer to that question really comes down to one thing for most Correct. people. Correct. Typically, it's a private pay, <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. and so it uh, depends on what, what their needs are and where they want us to place them, mm -hmm. and so we, we try to find the right fit. What I mean by right fit is sometimes folks are always looking, hey, oh, this is a beautiful community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got all these well, house oh, to care yeah, there. It looks like a, 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 a resort sometimes. Correct. You know? Correct. And sometimes when they get information from the like the discharge plan, they give them a list. Hey, there's just ten community. Go out, find your stuff. Mm -hmm. Contact us. Our service is free. There's no charge to the family at all, mm -hmm. and so we provide that. Uh, uh, you know, we that service is free. So when we tour them, uh, it's there's no obligation then to, to to move into that particular sure. location. Sure. Sure. But let's let's go back a minute because you talked about something that to me is really important. I'm sure it is to you as well, folks. A lot of times when you get discharged you get a big stack of paper correct and one of those pages has a maybe a list of a bunch of facilities correct. or you know places communities um, that you can go to but it's been my experience most people don't really know the difference between assisted living and residential care and skilled nursing and again you know 
why some might be more suitable than others. Uh, they don't know the, the difference in the cost. Um, so what you're providing sounds like there's a lot more hands-on. Yeah, so let me kind of kind of walk you through. There's, well, there's kind of three different communities out there. Okay. There's an independent community. Basically, you're self-sufficient. You live in a community 55 and older. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is called assisted living. So this is where they actually help you bathe, changing clothes, set up your food for you. Sure. So that's the second part of them. And the third part of it is actually uh, memory care communities that mm -hmm. basically if you have some dementia, any issues on there, so those are communities, three different, uh, okay. I call it classification, sure. or you want to call it three different uh, communities in, 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 the, in the area. There you go. Yeah, that, there you go. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take a break here in just a minute, but let's talk about real quick <clears throat> why that's so important to have somebody in essence, advocate for you and go with you. Uh, again, knowing most people don't call us until a crisis. Right. They're stressed out, they're very short on time, and they're trying to care for their loved one Absolutely. and find a place and get you know the right place that they would feel comfortable with. Uh, to me, there's really no reason why a person wouldn't use you know, somebody that does what you yeah, do. Yeah, we've been doing this since 2008. We're okay. a nationwide, uh, uh, senior care authorities are nationwide. Wow. And so in this area, I, I've been doing it for about 18 months now. Okay. And so I bought the franchise in these four counties. So mm -hmm. we're actually a corporate structure. Okay. So we have all the information on the community. There is yeah. some few independent out there, but we're like more corporate structure. What I mean by, let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So for okay. example, in the uh, Central Valley, right? So I serve in Central Valley. If you take a look in the map, the, mm -hmm. the red represents the Fresno area. The blue represents uh, Maybe Clovis just area. Turn that just yeah. a little bit. How about there that? you go. Perfect. And so basically, this is a family. Say, I live here. I want to find a six bed community here. Mm -hmm. I could actually circle that and pull up all the database on each of the typical community in that area. Wow. And what kind of services they provide. Mm -hmm. And so if you are getting discharged from the hospital or you in a crisis mode, you're not going to have that information. That's right. <laughs> and we our information is available for us, and we can share that with the senior. Say, yeah. here's the information for you, and then we mm -hmm. can kind of show them, hey, this is what uh, what they offer each of these particular mm -hmm. uh, communities. And did I hear you right, Roger? That you guys that's a proprietary program that Correct. you have. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. So other people aren't going to be able to do that? No, they, can, they cannot do that. This is basically uh, managed by Senior Care Authority Nationwide Network, mm -hmm. and so we have the information on all the communities. Wow. So just to recap, your service is at no cost? Correct. Okay. So you're going to save people lots of time, reduce their stress, hopefully, probably give them a better uh opportunity to make the right decision than if they did it themselves absolutely okay now that's me saying that you don't you can agree or disagree i totally agree so, with you okay. you're already actually speaking so my language why would people not use it you know folks it just makes sense and and i refer all of our clients when they're at that place to someone who can help them with these services um and i'm definitely going to be doing it with you guys because you do obviously provide a lot more so we're going to take a quick break, but I've got some questions for Roger when we get back, and I'm sure he might have some, some great answers. So it's Truth For Seniors. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Hey, we're back with Truth For Seniors, the place that you get the most up-to-date and accurate information. And I just want to tell you thanks for all the input that we're getting and the statements from people as I you know walk through grocery store, the post office, or whatever, I've had a couple of people come up and say, gosh, you know what, I really appreciate what you talked about last week. But we also want to know what you want to talk about, what you want us to cover, because this is your show. It's just, you know, something that we do because we love to provide the right information from the right people. And as we've promised from day one, we will bring you experts. And so you can find us on social media just about everywhere. Truth for Seniors is our website. And and uh, like us, follow us, give us a shout out, and we'll be glad to uh, acknowledge that and appreciate all that uh, all that you bring us. And so having a conversation with Roger Sonner, who is um, all things to everybody at Senior Care Authority. Uh, he is the franchise owner as well for four counties in the Valley. And um, in 18 months, you've done an awful lot. I can honestly say you have uh, really, really done well. And so I wanna ask you a couple things. Um, because I know that, you know, we throw out a lot of 
terms sometimes that maybe just might go over somebody's head and and uh, just because of, of lack of experience maybe they haven't been in this situation and as we all acknowledge I don't care whether it's hospice or you know in home care or financial planning or long-term care funding whatever it is people just don't call us until they're in a crisis absolutely it's not the most exciting thing to think about apparently and so so but I think you would agree that in a crisis we have fewer options correct so the way it works is that let's say uh, we get a call from the discharge panel or got a call from the family okay. so typically hey they get a call at 10 o'clock in, in the morning and they need to find a bed by three four o'clock in the afternoon yeah i call that a crisis mode absolutely and so basically as you know the beds are limited in certain communities so if yeah. you wait that in short notice you're not going to find the best location for yourself there you go. What my recommendation would be is that, like, we work with a lot of clients from the Bay Area or Monterey area, so they actually call us. We, you know, set up the with the, the director of marketing each of those communities. We mm -hmm. actually tour these communities, you know, 45 days off, 30 days off for sure. the clients. Yeah. So then they find the right location mm -hmm. uh, for that for that. Uh, and senior. to be able to do it when you're not in a hurry. Correct. Absolutely. You know, and and because you're rushed and and all of that, and we all know that we don't make sometimes the best decisions, you know, because we're basing it on uh, lack of information sometimes, or right. at least not as much as we should. So so to start in advance, um, a lot of people are caring for their loved one at home. Correct. My experience has been that most people wait too long. Correct. Out of love or a sense of, you know, obligation because of maybe their vows, you know, their wedding vows. I shared with a couple yesterday, you know, you did say, for better or for worse, for rich or poor, you know, I was 88-year-old wife caring for 87-year-old husband who's had Parkinson's like 14 years now. And bless their hearts, I mean, you couldn't help but just fall in love with this couple. Um, but it's very stressful. Yep. And to think that, you know, he might have to go somewhere and they might have to live apart that's terrifying. Yeah. And so, again, I, you know, perhaps if they were to talk to somebody like you uh, before the crisis mode. So typically what I do is, so let's say if somebody contact me, I'll kind of do an assessment, uh -huh. kind of find out where they are. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, large communities, they charge based on a level of care. Correct. They call it level one to like level seven. Okay. Depends on where the person's, you know, the mm -hmm. situation is. Mm -hmm. uh, what I try to typically do with the family is to kind of meet with them and do kind of assessment with them and tell them where actually they are currently right now. Hey, what's the mobility for this person? Can they get out of bed? Sure. How much assistance they need? Mm -hmm. That all makes a big difference uh, when you actually find the right community for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So your assessment is is based upon the activities of daily living. Activities, daily medical. living, medical, as well as, hey, how many medicines do they take? How mm -hmm. uh, can they take themselves? Can uh, How much assistance they need for bathing, mm -hmm. clothing, or, and also eating-wise, can they eat on their own? Do the food sure. needs to be cut or set up? Sure. All that based on is going to be the assessments. So there's, I'm not sure if this a lot of people are aware of this, but large communities, mm -hmm. they charge you based on the level. That's okay. right, sure. And the six bed communities it doesn't work like that. It's all exclusive. So you could okay. be uh, you could be a level four or level one. It's the same cost mm -hmm. for assisted living or memory care versus really? a large community. Correct. So, for instance, you know we have some people that will move into uh, some of these you know what we call kind of a, a cruise ship on land, if Correct. you will. You know where they're they're super involved in activities and man I walked through one the other day and man they got a massage place you know and a salon and you know they've got chefs in there that their you know their meals are as good as some of the finest restaurants but but a lot of our clients are at the point where that's not really that important to them no. anymore so that's a good example there for example a lot of families says hey I want to find my loved one to have participate in all this stuff. Yeah. If they can't even get out of bed, how are they going to participate? Yeah, amen. <laughs> and you need to think about, hey, where can I find them the best care for them? Yeah. Hey, how's the staffing? Mm -hmm. You know, hey, this this community has one staff for every two seniors. Wouldn't wow. that be great? Oh, versus yeah. you go to a large community, you have one versus eight, 12, depends on each one of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting because, too, I find that... Um, you know, if you're leaving home, you're looking for a home-like environment. Correct. A residential care facility is, is obviously that type of environment. Um, but I know you mentioned earlier, there's 
How many did you say? In There's 266 community in the four <laughs> counties. Jesus. That is amazing. Yeah. You know, nobody's going to be able to understand or have the time or the desire to go to probably more than, what, five or ten? Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah. So, so um, Senior Care Authority. Okay. Um, there's other companies who do what you do. Uh, maybe do like what you do. Maybe that's a better way of saying it. Is there something that sets you guys apart? I know you have an incredible proprietary program that shows all the, the communities, you know, and you can get something as close or as far away as you want. But uh, I know that you said you're full service. Yeah, so let me kind of walk you through that is uh -huh. that what I mean by that is, so I work with two attorneys locally in town. Okay. I work with two financial planners, two moving companies. Uh -huh. uh, then so once we do assessment with the, uh, with the uh, client or senior, mm -hmm. we actually sit down and say, hey, we're gonna help them find this location. Okay. So when we tour with them, so what, get everything planned off for them with the family. Mm -hmm. So take all the stress off for the, the family and their and the senior as well. Sure. So we actually do all the ground work work for them. Wow. So we get everything prepared for. Let's say if they are a, a veteran, mm -hmm. we also work with the company locally in town that get the VA benefits for them. Okay. Uh, and also, I didn't kind of share that with the earlier. So let's say if somebody's struggling with the financial, mm -hmm. and there's also. Um, assisted living waiver program available for sure. the, from, from the state. Mm -hmm. Fresno County is one of the counties eligible, by the way. Yep. There's a waiting list on that, but we yeah. also kind of walk you through that process. So okay. if you can't afford to live in assisted living community, there's a, a resources available on that. Yep. So think like that, we're a resource for you to kind of find the yeah. right community. Mm -hmm. And so anything you need, if you need a deed of trust done, we, we actually guide you the right location. Mm -hmm. And if you need a power attorney for you know, for financial uh, sure. or a health directive, yeah. we'll get that done for you as well. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Well, you guys definitely do a lot more than a lot of people will do. Yep. So, wow. And you're uh, you're just busy as can be, I imagine. Absolutely. I get a call all day long, <laughs> so I, I appreciate an opportunity to come here today and, uh, and kind of share what I do. Absolutely. And thank you for your time. Appreciate you coming. And, and folks, you know what? Uh, Roger's information is on the screen. SeniorCareFresno.com. Their number is 559-900-2076. And um, check them out because you know what? You don't want to have to do these things in crisis. Much better to do it when you've got a little bit of time, you've got more options, you've got uh, the ability to really, really do uh, what you want. And, and just lastly, real quick, I just remembered something that, that we had discussed is that People always want to stay at home. You know, I, we hear all the time, I'm going to take care of mom, you know, at home. Or mom says, you know, we're going to stay here as, you know, we're going to just, we're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here. But would you agree that a lot of times that decision is taken away from us because maybe a, a medical episode? Yeah, that typically happens. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this. In the, uh, in the valley here, the four major hospitals, I guess, mm -hmm. what the biggest client comes in, senior falling down. Really? Yes. So mm -hmm. if you talk to the wow. uh, the each of the That's four scary. hospital, so what happened is you're home and you fall down. Now you're at the hospital. Now you're in a crisis mode. That's right. So you plan ahead of time. That's right. As people try to keep them as long as you fall, I agree with them that. Yeah. But also, if you want to look at the, are they getting the best care at home as possible? Yeah. And and unfortunately, I've said this before on the show is that I I believe it's been my experience that many people stay at home longer than they should and they suffer the level of care uh, just because we all want to stay at home. So, yeah. hey, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. much. Thank you, Craig. Appreciate, Appreciate your help and, and your service to the community. This is Truth For Seniors. We've been visiting with Roger Sunner with Senior Care Authority. We're going to take a quick break and come back with Ron Killian and we're going to discuss some of the myths and facts regarding Medi-Cal. So we'll be right back. Thank you very much.